guys welcome to my channel thank you for joining me on today's video this is scent solutions i'm Anne. we discuss perfumes here if you like this please click the subscribe button like the videos it helps you know the videos get seen and also the notification bell will help you know when i post a new video so thank you if you're here today thank you to my returning subscribers thank you all today i have a new perfume for you it's new in my collection i've been testing it i did an unboxing short like a few minutes ago even though i'd unboxed the perfume a while back but i wanted to talk about it today so here we go this is from a house called art arte olfato i believe i'm pronouncing it correctly it's an italian house and the name of the perfume is color del sol might not be pronouncing it well but this is what is written on it anyway it's an extra de parfum i'm excited to talk about this one and i'm sure you can hear from the tone of my voice let's get right into it the notes in this perfume are lemon bergamot it's got orange blossom amber jasmine in the middle and then at the base you have vanilla cashmere wood and musk so that's the note structure how does this perfume smell first off let me show you the pack I think it's very nicely packaged. Pack looks like, you know, nice little pack. This is, this slides right over the pack. This is the back. So it's an Italian perfume house that made this. Not very popular because I didn't even really see too many reviews, you know, about this on YouTube. YouTube, but I stumbled on this in a perfume store and i was hooked this one has very good quality packaging i like that about this and i think that's what caught my attention i particularly like bottles that look like this with you know some gold detailing uh really heavy right it's not magnetic but it's just heavy and pretty and looks like it would be good quality so sometimes from the bottle you can sort of tell <laughs> i know that's a weird way but i know from the bottle sometimes you can tell if something will be high quality you might not like the juice but you'll know that it's good quality either way anywho so the opening of this perfume is where i really go crazy and let me tell you why it has such a beautiful citrus opening that opening gets me every time from the juice you can kind of tell that it might be citrusy so this one has to be one of the best openings or at least the best citrus openings that i've gotten from a perfume ever and i'm not exaggerating this is in my opinion on my skin so please let's put that all in context now this smells to me like baccarat rouge 540 but hold on this is not a clone or a dupe or whatever it is because this house is in its own right a luxury fragrance house so it's not you know looking to dupe anything i think they just wanted to create something within that scent profile but with a huge twist to it if Baccarat Rouge had a flanker, maybe a citrus forward flanker, this would probably be it. Now, the opening is a juicy, bright, uplifting, sweet citrus. Uh, in fact, the way the citrus smells in this one reminds me of like a lemon sugar cookie. That's what that smells like in the opening. So it kind of has a little bit of a, I don't know what, a, I think a gourmand touch to it slightly gourmand but it comes with that baccarat rouge aura as it opens so it's very citrusy but a sweet um, somewhat sugared type of citrus but still with the baccarat rouge aura just playing in the background almost feels as if there's saffron in this but it's not included in the nose but i just sort of get that aura of baccarat in this in the opening but it's not overwhelming it's not overly medicinal is just there in the right proportion allowing the citrus to flourish now when we get to the middle you get some slight florals but i must tell you this isn't a floral perfume by any means you know i believe the florals are there to sort of 
help with that transition from the citrus to whatever is in the base. It's easy to miss if you're not paying attention. So the florals I get the most here are really the orange blossom. That's really the one that kind of comes through slightly. And I also get amber in the middle of this. All the while still getting that citrusy, uh, you know, scent in the background. Because of course we've moved from the top notes now. We're talking about the heart. So the citrus scent does go down a bit when you get to the heart. But the orange blossom amber come through and then have the citrus and the slightly medicinal touch lingering in the background after that let's say at the one hour one and a half hour mark this becomes a soft velvety very sweet but not overly sweet just soft velvety citrus vanilla all the while carrying that baccarat rouge aura so imagine i don't know if you know uh, what's the name of this perfume now? Armani Code. That Armani Code type of citrus vanilla dry down. That's kind of how this dries. It dries down in that way, but again, still carrying that Baccarat Rouge aura. So what's going to happen here is that the citrus stays from beginning to the end, is more pronounced in the beginning and starts to fade as the perfume dries. But you still get it in the background. The whole Baccarat Rouge thing stays through the duration. Uh, that slightly medicinal touch kind of, you know, stays through the duration. But at the end of all of this is a sweet, velvety, very soft citrus vanilla. And that is the perfect part of this fragrance. So it's, it's it has almost like freshy and gourmand touches all at the same time the citrus makes it something that will blossom in hot weather so it makes it feel like a freshy the vanilla part of this makes it feel quite gourmand you know so it has so many facets so many nuances to it and it is such a beautiful work of art this is such lovely perfumery i really really love the use of citrus in this perfume i think it was done perfectly absolutely stunning perfume this one to me if you're looking at who can wear this i would say that it's unisex for instance the opening i feel is very unisex as you get to the end of the dry down then it becomes slightly more feminine leaning so it's a unisex perfume but i would say it leans more feminine than masculine. I would say this leans like 60% feminine, 40% masculine, or a 70-30 as the case may be. This to me is a year-round scent. I mentioned that it has freshy and gourmand touches to it. So that whole citrus and stuff would flourish in summer, in hotter weather. Then the gourmand parts will flourish when the weather is cold. So to me, it's something you can wear any time of the year it's also something you can wear anywhere to be honest i would wear this to work i'd wear this to a party i'll wear this anywhere in terms of performance siage projection this is moderate in terms of longevity this gives me three to four hours on my skin but by the third hour fourth hour becomes pretty much a skin scent on clothes this beast mode <laughs> this is beast mode i mean this gives me the entire day or at least 16 hours on my clothes that one i can tell you for free i feel like this is a very beautiful perfume i'll rate this a 9 over 10 actually because i enjoyed the entire experience with this perfume like i said if baccarat rouge had a flanker this would be it it's not duping baccarat rouge but it does have similar nuances but with its own twist so if you have smelled this because like i said it's not very popular on youtube i don't know if it's popular on other platforms but on youtube where i'm more active it's not if you've smelled this before you have any experience with this brand as a whole please let me know because even on fragrantica i only saw one review i absolutely love this and i was just excited to come share it with you so let me know if you know anything about this perfume until i see you on another video enjoy the rest of your day or night bye guys